Today I'm going to show you how to make a fun circle of light that you can use to play around on your next photo or video project and also give you some ideas on how you can use this effect in multiple ways to get some really fun results. So the first way that I have created this effect is simply by just using a projector. A projector is a really powerful tool for filmmakers and photographers to really create a lot of different shapes and movement and just whatever you want to do. Honestly, all I did was download a photo of a white circle, plugged it up to the projector through my iPad. I just shined it towards a white wall. A projector can totally get the job done, but it's not my favorite way of making this effect, which is actually using the Aperture LS60 and a Spotlight Mini Zoom attachment. So the Aperture LS60 is a really small, compact light that can attach to the Spotlight mount, which is like three times the size of it, but the Spotlight mount allows you to really take control of the light. And beyond using this setup to create a circle, there really is so much that you can do with a Spotlight Zoom. So here are a couple of creative ways you can actually use a circle of light. First, you can use it to create a silhouette effect with your models. And to do this effect, I make sure the light is to the right or to the far left of whatever wall or backdrop that I'm going to shine the light towards. After I have the light set up, I'll make sure my subject is standing like a couple feet away from the light. You want their body to really be in front of the light, but not too close that the light actually spills on them. You wanna create that separation so you can actually create a silhouette. And for the best results with a silhouette, you should really encourage your subjects to try to make some fun shapes with their body because the silhouette is just gonna really define their body, their body shape, their profile, the hair, whatever it is. So I like when models maybe like put their arms up or use their legs or maybe turn to the side a little bit to really like exaggerate the shapes that they can make. Another way you can use this effect is to just put your subject directly in the middle of the light. So with this, I'll actually move the light back towards the center and I'll shine it straight down. And then I'll put my subject literally on the light. It really makes the image pop, like literally makes it pop. It actually gives kind of like a 3D feel because it seems like they're really like popping outside of the circle. Instead of always shooting the light towards a wall or some type of backdrop, another fun way to use this effect is to shine the light from as high as you can and shine it like straight down. And then I just put my subject in the middle and it makes for a really fun effect. Another way to use this effect is to add in a second light. In my case, I really love using color, so I will put a wash of color onto my subject while keeping the circle in the backdrop. And I'll make sure they're far enough from the backdrop so it's not spilling light onto the actual spotlight because I don't want it to do that. And I'll use like contrasting colors to create a more like stylized effect. You can shine a light coming directly from the side. You can use a light coming from directly over them. Whatever you want to do, like there's so many ways that you can create this separation while making the circle of your backdrop. It creates like an interesting halo effect around them. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, drop a like. If you learned something, leave me a comment. And if you have other ways that you know how to use this light for some fun effects, please let everyone know. I love using this light, it's so fun. So I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that you can use it beyond what I just shared today. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.